Hi, this is the 13th Wolfman, and well, this is part two of, I'm not quite sure how many, I got quite a few box sets. Probably not as many as you guys may think, but still have quite quite a few. I'm going to dig it out today with a, the first of the box set is the Matt Helm Lounge. This is Dean Martin doing the super spy thing for the 1960s. In the 60s you had Bond. Bond ignited the super spy thing. Then they did the TV show Get Smart, The Man from Uncle, Honey West. And the movies got into it. They did Our Man Flint, In Like Flint, both with James Coburn. Dean Martin did his little boozing, boozing and cruising type of super spy in four movies. And this is all four movies. You get The Silencers, Murderer's Row, the Ambushers and Wrecking Crew, and these are a lot. These are fun movies. Um, it comes in a comes in the little slim cases. Let's see if I can hold that up better for you. Comes in little slim cases. Two movies to a set, and then <clears throat> this has got Wrecking Crew and the Ambushers. These are fun to watch. I believe, yeah, so the Silencers and Murderers Row were first, and then the Ambushers and Wrecking Crew. Why Dean Martin didn't make any more of these is beyond me. I know that, I think they were based on a novel, or novels, and they kind of ran out of material, but, hell, they ran out of bomb material a long time ago. They still make those movies. Next up is, I got four volumes set here, Bud, Bud Abbott and Lou Costello, volume one, volume two. Hey. Um, <clears throat> these are all the movies that they made when they were universal. In the first one you've got one Night in the Tropics, Buck Privates in the Navy, Hold That Ghost, Keep Em Flying, Ride, Ride Em Cowboy, Pardon My Sarong, and Who Done It. And in this one you have Hit the Ice, which is a really cool movie, In Society, Here Come the Coeds, The Naughty Nineties, Little Giant, Time of Their Lives, Buck Privates Come Home, Buck Privates Come Home, and Wistful Willow of Wagon Gap. Whew, have to say that one slow. Um... In the Navy, on Volume 1, has my all-time favorite routine by these two guys. No, it's not Who's On First. Who's On First is probably in the top five, and it's probably number five, But uh, for my, in my opinion. I mean, everyone knows Who's On First, and everyone likes it. But my favorite all-time routine by, by these two guys has to be 7 times 13 is 28. Now, if you have the time, it's after you get done watching this, um, look it up on YouTube. But if you can find it from their TV show, that's the best version of 7 times 13 is 28. But if you can't find it from that, then the version that's in, that's in, uh, in the Navy will do just fine. But you could tell how polished it was by the time they got to the, by the time they got to their TV show. So these are the first two volumes. Then you have volume three, which has Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein, Mexican Hayride, Abbott and Costello meet the killer Boris Karloff, Abbott and Costello in the foreign in the Foreign Legion, Abbott and Costello meet the Invisible Man, coming around the mountain, lost in Alaska, and Abbott and Costello go to Mars. Another bunch of great films, followed by the fourth volume, Abbott Costello meet Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Abbott Costello meet the Keystone Cops, and Abbott Costello meet the Mummy. And then they have three more things on here. Um, what, you know, they, they kind of ran out of material. I mean, you, you've got like 20-some movies on four volumes, and they had to, had to kind of like stretch it out on this one. So they, they added a few things. The World of Abbott and Costello, which you get to find out a little bit more about them. Um, Abbott and Costello meet Jerry Seinfeld, which is 
to me, just the biggest joke ever. Seinfeld doesn't belong anywhere near Abbott and Costello. And Abbott and Costello meet the monsters. And that's how they got to work with all the Universal monsters. And if you ask me, that was like the coolest thing ever. I mean, in Abbott and Costello... Which one is it? It's one with all the monsters. And Abbott and Costello meet... Frankenstein, okay, just had to make sure I quote this right. There's a scene, uh, they, Boris Karloff is no longer playing Frankenstein. They got Glenn Strange, who was an old Western actor and character player, which is cool because he's kind of got the look for him. During a scene, in real life, Glenn Strange broke his ankle. So Lon Chaney Jr. had nothing to do that day. You know, he, his scenes were already filmed for the day. So they asked him if he would go put the makeup on. And you could tell that, you know, Glenn Strange is tall, gawky look, uh, you know, gaunt looking like Boris Karloff. And they would put him in, in the Frank, you know, and, and Lon Chaney Jr. was built like a, like a linebacker. He was a big guy with a round face. And so they didn't quite look like, but there's one scene in there, if you can find it. You're 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 better you're better than most people. I I know which scene it is. I've seen it. I can tell the difference. But watch the movie. Try to find where there's actually a different person playing Frankenstein. That's my tip to you. You've all seen this box set. I've brought it up before. The Vincent Price box set. And I I will mention them again. Let's see if I can. We've got. Tales of Terror, Twice Told Tales, uh, Dr. Fibes, uh, Dr. Fibes Rises Again, Theater of Blood, Madhouse, and Witchfinder General. And then the very last thing is a bunch of stuff on Vincent Price. This is a cool box set. Ah, I'm so glad I got this. Last two. We're rolling up on eight minutes here. This is probably going to blow a lot of people's minds, but I do love old movies as much as I love horror. And so when I see when I see a box set that's relatively cheap and I can get a bunch of good movies, I jump on it. And this was the Marilyn Monroe Special Anniversary Collection. And you got all the movies right here. And this set actually has two of my favorite all-time Marilyn Monroe films. Before they they dolled her up and made her look like this, she was actually a real actress. Um, River and Overturn and Niagara. River and Overturn with Robert Mitchum. Niagara with uh, oh man, I want to say Joseph Cotton. That's right. But uh, so you got River and Overturn, The Seven Year Rich, Niagara, Gentlemen for Prefer Blondes, and Let's Make Love. My three all-time favorite Monroe films, um, two are in this box set, one is missing, that's Bus Stop. But River No Return, this is before, way before they, they did what they did to her. And Niagara, again, check this out. So, the, I'm already up on nine minutes. This is, this is part two of my box set. I am the 13th Wolfman, and I am on the prowl.